David Littleproud is the brand new leader of the Nationals. Now, I won't hide. I didn't think they needed to change their leader, but he explains why when we spoke earlier. This isn't a reflection on what Barnaby's done. I think it's the fact that uh, we decided that we needed a leader that would take us through to 2025. I think we're profoundly proud of the legacy that Barnaby has created and left behind, uh, but one in which we need to start that journey to rebuild towards 2025, understanding why we kept all our seats. There's some really serious emerging threats in some of our seats that we need to address. And we don't want to, we don't want to have to change tact uh, halfway through this term, but to actually have a clear pathway now. But what I'll be doing is drawing on that legacy, drawing on that experience of Barnaby Joyce to be part of a team uh, that he can nurture, not only myself, but the front bench team that I bring uh, to uh, the parliament. And I think that's important in terms of transition in making sure that the legacy of us being the conscience of rural and regional Australia to this parliament uh, is upheld and, and we respect that legacy that Barnaby Joyce has created. Now, I want to talk about some philosophical things, uh, like you've talked about the sensible centre. That generally concerns me because it sounds like it's code for leftism. But give me an idea about something that the previous government took to the election that you thought was, say, too right-wing. Well, well, I think we got it right. Uh, and I think we, were, as nationals, were able to hold them to account. I'll give you a perfect example. is net zero by 2050. I have four coal-fired power stations and the, and the greatest developed coal seam reserve in this country. Uh, and what we were able, as a national party, to negotiate was a sensible policy that kept the Liberal Party on on the hook in understanding that those traditional industries needed to be protected and we gave them opportunity to create new jobs and new industries. But if we had not, let me put this clearly to you and everyone else, had we not signed up to that, capital markets, both private and public, were factoring in close to up to 3% extra on your mortgages and you were going to get less for your commodities. Now, that's not a good thing for regional rural Australia. But what we were able to hold our coalition and partners to was a sensible policy about investing in technology. And then one of those coal-fired power stations that I have in my own electorate has already drilled a hole for carbon capture storage. We're doing practical things. If we want to get back to first principles about living up to international commitments and being able to have a, a licence to operate in ma international markets, we're doing that with practical solutions. And that's what the National Party brings to Canberra, is common sense. And that's what I want to build on what Barnaby brought to Canberra, was that common sense, that practical application. And while there's ideology in capital cities about us reducing emissions and we all want a healthier environment, we're all for that. It's the practical application that invariably hurts regional Australians and making sure that that sensible centre gives the practical solutions that, that ticks the boxes to make sure that we have that social licence so we still get good prices for commodity, you're not paying up to 3% on your interest rates and we're still able to live up to the international commitments and be able to say uh, we as Australians have done our part as a global citizen. We can't tell the world to take a running jump. We're only 26 million people. Sometimes you've got to understand your place in the world, but you've got to live within it, and I think we've done that. I think as a last government, I think we were able to do that. You, you, you haven't found a government that faced up to the scale of variety of challenges that we did, and I think the Australian people were simply came out of a lot of hardship and said, you know what? Oh, that was bloody tough. And you know what? Now we just want to change. Uh, and I think now Peter Dutton and my job is to say that change, that buyer's remorse might be there sooner than you think. And that sensible policy, pragmatic framework, that common sense will be there when you decide to come back to us. We're not going to chase extremities. We're going to be sensible and we're going to bring you with us. I completely agree. Now, I don't want to make this all about climate because there are even more important issues to regional Australia, but I want to ask you about what you think uh, your senators should do when Labor tries to put through the parliament 43% emissions reduction. They want to make it law. How will the nationals vote? Well, that will not be just the national senators. It will be the national party room that will decide that. My personal belief is that, that I don't believe Australians need to be told what to do. Uh, we haven't had to legislate Kyoto or Paris. We did that because all we did was put the environment and infrastructure around uh, industry to do it themselves. Australians don't need to be told what to do. They, they do the right thing by themselves and they get guided by international markets. So we'll go to the party room, we'll have that discussion. We put a sensible policy forward that protected our interest rates. That's all the world's asked us to do. Um, we don't have to take the virtues of the rest of the world to go any further. We simply say to Australians, you know what to do. You don't need to be told you've had enough of that. You've had a gut full of that. Australians need to get out of your life. And simply, we need to put the environment infrastructure, simple as that. Government doesn't need to be there to tell you what to do again. You're doing enough by itself. 